my box. My box has a bottom, which is very exciting. I am not picking this up and taking this off of the tray right now. I'm leaving it on the tray. My bottom is still new, so if I start messing with it, I could actually do horrible things. So I want my box to have a lid, and I want my lid to lock into my box so it doesn't fly off. If I make a line that just goes straight around my project, like this, and it's nice and flat. My my lid on my box is going to fly off like wet soap. I don't want my I don't want that to happen. So, I'm going to make a gentle curve like this. So that my top and my bottom fit together. And so that my the line goes all the way and from one end to the other and matches so I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna draw this line onto here so when I go to this side and it goes around I can be like oh this is where my curve has to end then this is where we have to be brave because we have this thing that we have now worked on for a couple of weeks and we are just gonna hack into it. So we have to be brave right now. So I'm gonna take my knife, I'm gonna start in the middle, and I'm just gonna press it in like that. I am not gonna saw in and out. I'm not gonna be like, er, 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 er. I'm just gonna put it in. I'm going to put my hand on one side. Notice how I am not pulling this towards me how I am pulling it sort of to the side now. I want to be looking at this as I cut. So I'm just going to cut. I have my hand holding on the opposite way that I'm cutting, but I'm not going to have my hand so that if, I, if the knife slips, it goes like whoop into my hand. No, that would be terrible. So I'm going to set my hand back a little tiny bit, and I'm just going to go really slow, and I'm going to be really brave. And then I'm going to keep going, keep going, keep going. You're going to hit the corner, and it's going to feel hard when you hit the corner. And this is the time where you're just going to be really good. You might have to, like, deny your line a little bit because it might be too hard. And then you're just going to wiggle it. This is where it's okay if you're going super slow to wiggle it into the corner. And then I'm just going to, like, get my rib. Be like, oop, that line does not exist anymore. This is where my line is now, so I'm going to make this line go away. If your thing gets dirty, it's okay. Put your knife in. Have your knife go around the corner. Find where your line is, and then just start again. And again, make sure your hand is not in the way. Here's the thing. Ms. S has done this a lot. So she's never worried about hurting her fingers because her knife is not going to slip because I'm very careful. So again, I wiggle it to the corner. I'm going to turn, 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 turn. If I need to change my line a little bit, I'm going to change my line a little bit. You might need to redraw your line, but I'm the teacher. I don't need to. I'm going to go around. I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to hold. I always hold the corner. Notice how I hold the corner? That's really important. And I cut all the way out like that. Then I can put my knife back. And again, like, why did I have you draw the lines if I was going to have you draw out the corner? Because you don't know where it's going to land. So that, it looks like that. Make my line go away. I'm going to hold this. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. <gasps> it's a disaster. No, it's not. I'm going to go to the corner again straight out by the corner. This, see, look at, I can see where this goes now. And then I'm going to smooth, 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 smooth. Why am I smoothing my lines as I go? Because I don't want to accidentally cut them. Hold your, hold your project, hold it, hold it. You're going to feel where they come together. Did I start? <gasps> <laughs> so
So everything's attached. My top is off. My sides are straight up and down. And I have a coil that is already slipped and scored. I've also already slipped and scored the inside of my box. So I am just adding and I'm really globbing it on some slip because everything is all set up for me to finish. Remember, corners always crack. That means if I don't add this coil into the inside of my box, I'm probably going to lose the outs that, uh, that part of my box. It's just going to fall off in the kiln. It's, there isn't enough surface area, so we've really got to do this. The other thing that I realize is that as I put my coil in, it is really going to move around. You're going to notice that I, when I get to this point, when I start cutting my coil up, I'm cutting it shorter than my box and it's still growing longer because I'm really shoving it into my box. These are the last steps before we really dry out our project. So we want to make sure in these last two videos, we do everything we possibly can to make everything as neat as we can while we're finishing. So I cut my coil a tiny bit short. I am shoving it into the corner here. I'm really going to push it into the corner and then I'm really going to attach it both to the bottom of my box and to the side of my box with my finger. And if I'm not comfortable using my finger, I'm going to use my popsicle stick. Once I am done attaching all four of these coils, I am basically done with 99.9% .9 of my box and I can go on to make all of the cute little guys that are going to be on top and really decorate it the way that I want it to be decorated. So this is the last bit of the messy part and then we get to put our lid back on and make our box beautiful. And I think everybody did a great job with this project and I'm really proud of everything you did. So good job.